I am so glad that you are here to worship alongside me this week. I love gathering together to come so close to God and to feel God coming so close to us that we know what God is saying to us through God's word, through the stories that God has given us to share what God is like, what God wants us to do, how God wants us to live. It's a wonderful time. It's the favorite time of the week for me. And I hope that you enjoy it too. I have a really important question for you. Are you ready? Are you ready to come and worship God and to listen for God and to talk to God? I like to get into a comfortable position in my body and take a deep breath. So I can feel ready all through myself. And when we are ready for worship, I can say, the Lord be with you. I love it when you say, and also with you. That way we are sharing God's blessing together. You know that we are here to listen to a story from God's word, to listen for God's voice, and also to talk to God. And there are lots of ways that we can talk to God. Let's talk to God with our singing voices today. Father, we adore you, and we lay our lives before you. How we love you, Jesus, we adore you, and we lay our lives before you. How we love you, Spirit, we adore you, and we lay our lives before you. How we love you. That was beautiful singing, and it makes God so happy when we talk to God, however we talk to God. God always hears us. God is always listening to us, and it delights God, it makes God so happy when we turn to God, when we speak to God, wherever we are, we can do it anywhere and in any way, as long as we are talking sincerely to God. You can see what I have in front of me. I have our calendar, which some people say looks like a clock, and it reminds us that God holds all our time. Every day, every minute of our lives, God is with us and God has given as a gift to us. We also know that the church uses colors to tell time. And we are now in the time of the color green. Green and growing. A time when children are growing in their bodies. I know you are all growing so tall and strong. And when we are all growing in our faith and growing closer to God. This is the time of green and growing. Today we are starting a new series of stories. They're stories that some of you have heard before. But do you know what is so amazing about the stories of God? Every time we hear them, every time I tell them, or anyone tells the stories of God from the Bible, we can hear or see or feel or experience something new because the word of God is the living word. It's alive. It is acting within us to change us completely. When we are changed completely, that means transformed. We are coming to be closer and closer to God. So if we open our ears and our hearts and our eyes and we ask God to bless us and show us what God wants us to hear today, we will hear something very special. So I hope you are ready for that today, even if you've heard this story before. And if you've never heard it, prepare yourself. This is a wonderful story. 
Have you seen something like this before? Do you know what this could be? We know certain things about it. We know that this box looks very old. And we know that parables are old. They were given to us long, long, long ago way before I was born or your parents were born or even your grandparents, long, 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 long ago, parables were given to us. They're very old. We also know that this box is the color gold. Gold is something that's worth a lot. It's very valuable. But parables are even more valuable than gold. This box sort of looks like a present too. And parables are presents. They were given to you as a gift long ago. Even if you didn't know it, this parable has been waiting for you. And this is a gift for everyone in the whole wide world. How is that possible? A gift specially for you, but a gift also for everyone in the whole wide world? That is something amazing about parables. We also see that this box has a lid. It can be open and it can be closed. Parables are like that too. Sometimes a parable can feel like it's closed. That's when we don't understand it. And if that happens, we come back again and again. We ask God, to bless us, to come close to us. And one day God will open it for us so that we do understand just what God wants us to know. There's also something special about this box that you may know. Each one of these boxes has a special dot with a color. Do you wanna guess what the color is for today? Today's box has the color green. I wonder if there's something green inside. If you know something about parables, do you know a parable that has a lot of green? I wonder which one it could be. Are you ready to open it? Let's see if it'll open for us today. There is green, so much green. Look at all of this green. I wonder what it could be, what it could really be. That's an important question. When we are looking at parables, we ask ourselves, what could this really be? What could it really mean? That's an important question for parables. It's green on this side. I wonder if there's something different on the other side. Still green, lots of green on both sides. There's so much of it. I wonder what this could be. What does it look like to you? Maybe a lily pad? Does it look like the top of a forest from above? Does it look like a field where people play sports? Maybe a lot of grass? I wonder what it could be. What do you see? Let's see if there's something else that can help us to tell the story, to help us to understand what is here. down so you can see it better. It's a line, maybe a path, or a stick. What do you think it could be? Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, there's more of these. I wonder if this one goes there. Does it look like 
a road or a path? Train tracks? What could it be? Oh, there are even more. Maybe I'll put this one like this. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh. That, maybe? Does it seem like maybe we're building something? It's getting taller. It feels like maybe it's stronger. How many of these could there be? Seems like a lot. I wonder what this could really be. What kind of place is this? I wonder if I could turn it around. What does it look like to you? Then I could go like this. There's an opening. And I could close it too. There are lots of things I could do with this. I wonder if there's anything else that could help us to understand what this is for, what it really is. <laughs> There's a sheep. I wonder if it's a place for sheep. A place where sheep live. There's another sheep. And another one. I wonder how many sheep there could be. Four. Five, ten, a dozen, a hundred. How many sheep could there be? Oh, that's it. But there's space for many more. There's something else here too. Look at this. What color is this? Blue. What other things are blue that you know? What could this really be? I'll put it here. What does it look like? What could be in this place? Is that all? Oh, there's something else. What could this be? This looks like a place where maybe light doesn't shine. They're gray. Maybe they're shadows or rocks. What do you think they could be? I wonder what those places are. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything else that can help us to set up our story. I think that's all we need. So if you are ready, we can begin. There was once someone who said such wonderful things and did such amazing things that people followed him. And as they followed him, they wondered, who could this be? Who is doing these wonderful things and saying these amazing things we need to know? Who are you? They said. Who are you? Some people even ask today. One time when they asked him that, he said, I am the good Shepherd, I know each of my sheep by name. 
and my sheep know the sound of my voice. I lead them out of the sheepfold and I go before them to show them the way and my sheep follow me wherever I go. I show them the way to the good green grass. I show them the way to the clear, fresh waters. When there are places of danger, I show them the way to go through. And when my sheep are back in the sheepfold, safe at home, I count them to make sure, to make sure they're all safe. If even one is missing, if even one is not here safe with me, I will go and look for it. I will go anywhere to find my sheep, even one of them. I will go to the good green grass to look for my sheep. I will go to the clear, fresh, cool water to find my sheep. I will even go to the places of danger, to scary places, to find my sheep. <sighs> and when I find my sheep, I will put the sheep on my shoulders and carry it. Even if it's heavy, even if it's hard to do, I will bring my sheep back home. And when I have found my sheep, and my sheep are safe with me. I will rejoice and I will throw a party. I will invite everyone I know and say, come and celebrate with me. My sheep is here, the one that was lost, the one that was wandering. I found it, I rescued it. It's safe, celebrate with me. Now this is the ordinary shepherd, the regular shepherd. He does not know the sheep by name and they do not know the sound of his voice. So when the regular shepherd lets the sheep out, 
He doesn't show them the way. He doesn't know the right places. And the sheep, they wander. They don't know where to go. They don't have someone to show them the way. And if a wolf comes to eat the sheep, the regular shepherd will run away and save himself and leave the sheep to be eaten by the wolf. But the good shepherd will stop the wolf, will protect the sheep. The good shepherd will even die for the sheep. So they can come safely back home. Now I wonder, I wonder if these sheep have names. I wonder who they could be. I wonder what this place could be. Have you ever been in a place like this? I wonder if you've ever been to a place with good green grass. Have you been to a place where there's cool, fresh water? What is that place for you where you are refreshed? I wonder have you ever been to the places of danger? Have you been in a scary place? Have you been lost? What did it feel like when you were lost? I wonder, have you been found? Have you been rescued? What does it feel like when you are found? When you are rescued? If someone rescues you, what do they look like? What does their face look like when they find you? How do you feel inside when you are found? What does it feel like to come back to this place where you are safe at home. Do you have a part of this story that you like the best? I'll bring out the other parts so you can remember them. What is your favorite part? part of this story is the most important? What's the most important part? I wonder which part of this story tells something about you or what you would be doing. Which part of this is your story? I wonder if there's a part of this story that we could take away, but still have all the story that we need. I hope you enjoyed this story for today. I'd like to close us with a time of prayer. 
and a time of asking God's blessing on you. Let's pray together. God, thank you so much for loving us so much that you would come to rescue us, that you are always near us, that you know us by name. Help us always to hear the sound of your voice as you lead us. God, you are so... God, thank you for... God, please... Jesus, you are our good shepherd. You always show us the way. You showed us the way to pray, and we want to pray your prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace and give you peace and give you peace forever god bless you i hope you enjoyed our story for today it is the parable of the good shepherd from godly play by jerome berryman i'll be back to tell you another story next time bye bye